if it looks like I'm crying. It's because I was, okay? I was putting in some eye drops and instead of relieving my eyes, they started burning and then I started crying. It was not a good time. But anyways, it is finally October. So it's time to bring on the spooky videos. Y'all know how much I love the spooky videos. We're gonna do one today. These are pretty creepy, okay? Viewer discretion advised. You know, all that good stuff. So the first one is this really creepy story. The story was posted on Reddit as it was happening. So this guy didn't realize there was something going on in the background of his stories until his friend told him. So these are the stories. See if you can catch anything. Right, so the first one of my parents' little birds is this little guy. It is little Leo. He's a cockatiel. The second little bird uh, of my parents is a rainbow lorikeet. His name is Oliver. And there he is. And here I am with my good little mate. Whoa, okay, so the first one, there was nothing there. And now all of a sudden, there's something there. I wanna know how did his friend catch that? Cause you have to like slow-mo the video. Oh, there you can clearly see it. You can't really tell what it is. I mean, it looks like there could be a head there, maybe some hands, but maybe some bald fists. I don't know. Okay, so this dude talks about his childhood. So when he was a kid, he had sleep paralysis. At age 12 or 13, for seemingly no reason at all, I started started getting chronic episodes almost every night that lasted minutes to tens of minutes at a time. During these episodes, I could breathe but could not move. When it came to seeing things, there was always one reoccurring thing. A faceless person looking into my bedroom window with their hands cupped to the glass. For the course of a 1 to 10 minute episode, this person would just stand there and look at me. This is wild. Like this dude would have sleep paralysis and this is exactly what he would see. Somebody standing at the window just looking in. So this guy walks around his house recording but without looking at the screen. So this is the That's door. him, that's him, that's him. It scared me, it scared me, it scared me. That's this, that's the screen. Oh. Oh my god, my AC just turned on and my door opened. Oh my god. Alright, so there's some creepy stuff going on in this dude's house. What is that? <gasps> I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. That is terrifying. I am so scared for this. Like, imagine this. Going in your house at night, recording, and then a damn person shows up in the corner, just standing there. Ugh. I have goosebumps. This is not okay. This whole video gives me the heebie-jeebies. I don't even want to continue. <laughs> What? <gasps> oh no. What is going on? There's a ghost. There's a ghost! <laughs> it's outside now too. This is so... Oh no! Is that weird? Can cameras see ghosts? 2018, putting filters on demons. Aha! This is a huge yikes. Again, y'all better get that holy water. You know, you can turn any water into holy water. All you gotta do is like bless it. What if you drink holy water? Would your soul be like cleansed? What if I bless every single bottle of water I drink? Would I just be blessed? Ah! To make things worse! I didn't need to see this after watching that. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, when you think about it, it's just a Teletubby and a guy. But when you face swap them, this is not okay. Ugh, who designed Teletubbies? They're not human. I don't know what they are, but they're definitely not human. Oh, another face swap. All right, this video is now creepy face swaps and creepy Snapchats. But why did her face decide to go there? And her neck skin decide to go there? Some fishy going on. She looks so confused, like, what, what am I doing down here? How does this even happen? All right, less creepy. This dude, his whole life wanted to be a banana and two oranges and now he's regretting it. <gasps> I'm scared. I'm scared. Imagine pulling out Snapchat, accidentally hitting the face swap in your car and this happens. Ladies, I'm holy water up in this
I don't have any. Usually I got holy water, but today I don't. Yeah, I'm jumping out this car now. Bye. Ah! This is almost too good. How did the pumpkin's face look like that? Why is it the same skin color as him? That pumpkin look a little too happy though. Whoa. Oh, it looked like Jigsaw for a sec. From Saw? I play a game. But it's the couch. I thought it was like some demon that she face swapped with, but it was just the couch. But how does it recognize that as a face? I mean, it's got an eye, like in the cushion. This is so weird how this happened. How did this happen? Snapchat, we need Okay, this doesn't make me feel as bad about the other face because it might be fake. It's gotta be fake. See, this was really creepy when I first saw it because it's like... But no two demons look exactly the same. This was the same one as this one. It's the same demon. Maybe it's the Snapchat demon haunting Snapchat. Either way, it's creepy how she's holding up the Care Bear like, look. Photobomb! Alright, so when you first look at it, it's like, what, a grandma taking a dump behind him? Like, photobomb? But no. So later that evening, a friend came over and pointed out something creepy about my selfie. A mysterious figure in a purple dress can be seen in the background sitting with their hands folded. Bearing in mind, the picture was taken facing the living room door. So, just a door was behind them and that suddenly shows up there's got to be something behind this like a woman in a purple dress with her arms crossed is this a thing there is a demon in your house and I ain't talking about those eyebrows <laughs> it looked like she sucked her son's eyebrows off and added them to hers ah, this was so creepy for a sec but just for a sec until you realize what the hell is going on here I don't like it I don't like it man stop Get out of here. Okay, I thought this was another ghost or demon or something. Calm down. This is just the sidewalk. Ain't nothing to see here but the pavement. Okay, I don't like these. These are really unsettling. But like, it's happened to me too. Like something behind me. Like one time I opened up Snapchat and like the filter was going somewhere behind me. Like it wasn't on any of the faces on my posters or anything. It was just like somewhere behind me, like right here. And part of me wants to be logical and be like, oh, it's just a glitch. Snapchat picking up some inner. Interference. The other part of me is like, this place is cursed. There was a demon right behind you and there's nothing you can do, honey, except get the hell out. <sighs> yeah, see, this is a thing. We got them everywhere. Only Snapchat can see them. Y'all, this could be like the future of like ghost hunting. Seriously though, like instead of ghost hunting with all that like crazy technology and stuff, you can like go ghost hunting with Snapchat. Just think about it. I kind of want to do that actually. If I ever go to like a haunted building or something, just whip out Snapchat and see if the filter like goes on anybody. Duh! It's genius! Okay, now I really want to try this. Using filters to make yourself look better, but you wind up looking like a monster. What? What kind of filter is this? How does a filter make you look uglier? Man, you must be so beautiful. You put that filter to shame. Like it was like, oh, her beauty is melting me. Help! But it was too late and it made you ugly. Oh! Another gift from face swap. What did he face swap with? How did this, oh, was it his hands? It, it looks like his fingers, like three fingers. Do you guys see it? That is so weird. Why does this baby look like Leonardo DiCaprio? Ah! At first I was like, what part of hell did this demon spawn from? But it's just the teddy bear. But what kind of teddy bear got a face like that? Oh, it's the teddy bear's foot with the paws. Okay, all right, I see you. Okay, it's the dog. She face swapped with the dog. This is giving me the heebie-jeebies, okay? Never face swap with your sister's doll. Wow, unless you want to be a doll. Literally. Girl, who did your lashes? Oh, this one's more cute than creepy. <gasps> Satan, is that you? It is. Satan and Lucifer, right there. I don't think I ever tried face swapping with my dog. I want to now. So this girl taking a mirror selfie, and there's something in the background. I don't know what it is. Comment below. What do you think this is? Because I have no idea. It looked like a face, but like half a face. I don't know. Maybe it's a stain on the window. Why am I wearing this? For the aesthetic! Oh, the video is over and I wore it the whole time. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below which one did you think was the creepiest. And let me know what you think of the first one because this, ugh, it's too scary. It's too spooky. Too spooky for me. I can't take it. I can't handle it. There's some things like that where it's just, I don't know what to think. I don't know what to say. Is it fake? Is it real? Well, obviously somebody could just like make up a ton of hoopla. Like Dear David. I believe Dear David was like hella fake, but that doesn't stop y'all from wanting a part three do y'all want a part three comment below let me know also if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you hit that like button and the face for more spooky videos and subscribe join the wolf pack oh i love you guys so much thanks for watching bye guys